Not many Hollywood A-listers remain loyal to the characters they played before they became the cool kids, but Ryan Reynolds is built differently. This guy is still loyal to a not-so-famous character he played 10 years ago. If you're a chronic movie watcher, then you've probably seen the 2012 Safe House, in which case we're glad to let you know that a sequel to it is in the works. Let's learn more about it. First up, the sequel is officially on the way. Ryan Reynolds is Hollywood's favorite child child, and rightfully so, but what we think makes him such a remarkable actor is that even after all his success, he still isn't too picky about his projects, because how else do you explain his return to a movie that most people have already forgotten about? So far, all that's known is that Safe House 2 has been greenlit, and that Ryan is game. It's fair to say that there's still plenty of time before the movie starts production, like even the rest of the cast hasn't been determined yet. Now the Canadian star might be in, but we still don't know what's up with the other main guy, Denzel Washington. Yep, if the original movie had Denzel, he better be in the sequel too, because we're afraid it won't work without him. That's not it though, it's still not sure who will sit in the director's chair for Safe House 2. Ideally, we'd want the Swedish director Daniel Espinosa, who made the first movie, to get on board for this one too, but chances are this full circle moment might not happen because many critics weren't big fans of his direction on the 2012 thriller. Then again, if the writer can be the same, why not the director? David Guggenheim will be writing the screenplay for the sequel, according to IMDb. So yeah, he's probably staring at a blank document with his cold cup of coffee as we speak. There you go. The good news is that another installment is in the works. The bad news is that not much else is confirmed yet. Following up, this was a promise long forgotten. Raise your hands if you saw the film a decade ago, and you feel like we're out here citing the old magic to you, even though you were there when it was written. The rest of you kids, we're here to fill you in. So Safe House was pretty much a hit, an unexpected hit in fact, and right after its success at the box office, the news of a sequel spread like wildfire. Both Reynolds and Washington were up for another installment, and so were the creators, and then years went by and nothing happened. The reason for this might have been the busy schedules of our lead actors. They both went on to star in some super hit projects, so it's understandable why they wouldn't have found the time to commit to the sequel for a pretty generic buddy cop thriller, especially when there were already other popular thriller franchises doing numbers. So to all of you who are waiting on the promise of Safe House 2, congratulations. The wait has been long so far, but it won't be much longer. The worst is behind us, unless it takes another decade to finish the casting. Up next, what should Safe House 2 do differently? If memory serves us right, we think Safe House was mediocre. Yes, we said that. Sure, the cast was great. Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington on screen at the same time is a treat, but the screenplay was nothing special. Apologies, David. The thing is that this film didn't necessarily add anything to the spy thriller genre. The plot was offensively predictable right from the start to finish. Like, where was the surprise? Moving on from the story, now it's time for direct slander. Daniel is a master of his craft, but we fear the action in the 2012 thriller wasn't it. The action sequences were at times bland, and at times trying too hard. Listen, we respect the nostalgia tied to this film, but the truth has to be spoken. So what was good about it? The chemistry. The buddy cop chemistry between the main leads was what kept the audience seated. It was fun to watch, first because both the actors are terrific, and secondly because the enemies now have to work together dynamic never gets old. We hope you agree with us on all this, because there's no need to be offended. We're on the same page here. The only thing we want Safe House 2 to do is not repeat the mistakes of the past. Alright, so here's our case. Please, for the love of God, do something special with the screenplay this time. Make the plot unpredictable. Make us jump out of our seats at the twists. Do better in the action department. But remember, a spy thriller has no business looking like the MCU. And of course, give us more Reynolds and Washington interaction. Coming up, what to expect from the sequel. Now be honest. Do you even remember what this first one was about? It's 2012 we're talking about.
talking about. It's been ages. See, Ryan's character, Matt Weston, is an inexperienced CIA agent. Denzel's character, Tobin Frost, is a former agent who changed his ways for the worst and became a wanted criminal. Now Frost is sent to be kept under Weston's watch in a safe house. The safe house is a CIA-operated apartment thingy, meant to be used to carry out super important, super secret missions and stuff. The trouble begins when this place is attacked, because apparently Frost has a wanted hard drive in his possession. From there, both the agent and the criminal are left with no other option but to work together. And so, over the course of the film, we see a unique friendship form. That's a respectable premise for a thrill, we'll give him that. The problem here is that the film ended without leaving much room for a sequel. The story was entirely told by the end. So, back in the day when another film was announced, the word on the street was that it would be a prequel instead of a sequel. Or it could be a side-by-side -side kind of thing where through one character we'd get to see what went down in the past, and through the other they'd tell the story of the present. Both these ideas are reasonable to be fair, but if the producers fail to convince Denzel to join the cast, the side-by-side -side narrative could work with another younger actor playing Frost's past. Moving on, will it be a hit? You know what? It does have hit potential if you ask us. Think about it. The first film wasn't even that extraordinary, but it still made over $200 million at the box office. Mind you, the budget for the movie was only $85 million. So yeah, it was a commercial success in every sense of the word. The 53% on Rotten Tomatoes didn't make a difference. This time around, not only do the creators have another chance of making things better and being more creative, but the actors are also much more famous now. All those fans would watch anything with these two legends in it. Alright then, bring it on. We're ready for the sequel. Call it Safe House, but better. Here's what else Reynolds has been up to. First off, the Disney Venture. Wake up, babe. Another potential Disney franchise just dropped, this time in the leadership of none other than Ryan Reynolds. The Canadian star is in the process of developing a movie based on the Disney World attraction, The Society of Explorers and Adventurers. He's working along with Kui Gwyn, the writer of Raya and the Last Dragon and the co-director of Strange World, so we can be sure that this movie is in safe hands. Disney theme park attractions are not new to being adapted by Hollywood, from Pirates of the Caribbean to last year's Jungle Cruise, it seems like it's a pretty good recipe for a guaranteed hit. It's a big step from Blake Lively's husband, but we're sure he can pull this off. Not to mention, there's another adaptation as well. Reynolds and Guyen aren't alone in bringing the Society of Explorers and Adventurers to the screens. Disney Plus is also already in the process of developing it for a series, but from what we know so far, the two projects will be completely separate from each other. The movie will be produced under Reynolds' maximum effort production banner and will have nothing to do with the Disney Plus series. The one thing they'll have in common is that they'll be in the same cinematic universe. We can already smell a successful franchise, can you? Lastly, his other upcoming projects. This man was away for a while, and now he's back in style. Apart from his production venture and Safe House sequel, he has other pretty projects to work on. The obvious one is of course Deadpool 3, with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, but he'll also star in the sequel to the Netflix film Red Notice, in which he gets paid to be himself, pretty much. His musical comedy Spirited is set to release in November, but probably the most fun project is Imaginary Friends, set to come out in 2024. It's a film by John Krasinski, and it's got Steve Carell and Phoebe Waller-Bridge in it. Still though, his biggest achievement has to be marrying Blake Lively. No, we won't hear arguments. That's a wrap for this video. How excited are you about Safe House 2? Let us know in the comments below. Don't don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.